the best thing we've ever done is the banjo game. Thing. Amen. We've got to do everything that we can do to tell people about Jesus. John Lloyd. Late for the meeting. What's up, brother? Mark. 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 And then motto on three, one, two, three. Rush. That's oh, right. awesome. Man. Time to roll. That Word. is so awesome, man. Word. Hey. Man, give us some, give us some word, man. All right, John Boy, you got talk to us. Let me see what we got here. Let's see what comes. <clears throat> you know what? What? This is awesome. This goes right with Matt. With Miss Matthew five thirteen. You here. are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses salt, salt. Is how can it be made salt again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and traveled by men. But you are the light of the world. Mm. City on a hill is not be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Amen. And that's what we're here for, to be a light, light to other men. To I mean, that's like what we're supposed to Jesus do, is tell people about Jesus. We shine the light. light. That is awesome, man. Right. I think we ought to pray and ask God to send us somebody to tell them about Jesus. Oh, There's so many people out there that don't know about Jesus. We've got to find the one. Right on. He knows. So many people, Matthew says. So we got to pray. And when we pray, we pray that God shows up here today. And then we reach somebody, no matter who they are, no matter what they look like, right. no matter what their background right. is, yeah. no matter what their future is, we're going to lay it down for us. Yeah. Right. 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 reach heaven for Hey, you pray. I'm going to pray. Look, please do it, John boy. Dear God, I pray, God, that today you'll send us somebody who oh, yes. needs to know about you. God, not our will, but your will, Lord. That somebody who needs to know about you, that we can invite the church to learn about you and learn the gospel, Lord. And God, that they can be one of us and be in our gang and that they can too join us in trying to tell people about Jesus. Right. Lord, God, that is good. what you want. Yes. Lord, I Lord, pray that you just send somebody our way. Lord. Send them, Lord. Lord. Put them in our path. Amen. 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 In our path. Amen. Man, that is so oh, awesome. In our path. Man. I'm so happy to show people about Romans Road. Oh, hey, 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 God. God. Check out, check out. I think God just yeah. answered our prayer. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing, doing? Hey, man? Good to see you, man. Nice to see you. What's your name? James. James, good to meet you. James, how you doing, man? My name is Marcus. It's good to see you. Hey, Marcus. Yo, James. Hey, man. I'm John Boy. Good to see you, brother. James, I'm Lucas, man. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How about, nice meet you, how about uh, James? How about take a comfortable seat right here? Yeah, on man. Here. How you doing? Comfortable seat. You know, all right. Yeah, have a seat. Tell me, James. You Can we get you anything? Something to eat? Something to drink? Yeah. Water? I think I'm good. Pretty you good? good? Okay. Hey, have you ever heard of, a, of the Avenger game? No, I haven't. You haven't? Dude, we're the Avenger game. Look, and what we do is we like to pray and we like to tell people about Jesus. Really? Yeah, man. Do you know about Jesus? I've heard of him once or twice. For real? Yeah. You ever been to church or anything? No, that's kind of what I was thinking about him. Oh, oh, right right into Man, our arms. Mm -hmm. We are looking tell for everybody. people to come to our church and learn about God. Yeah. And here you come. That's how you know the power of God. You want to go to church with us? Sure. We'd love to have you, man. Yeah, we, sure. Our church is so... Give me your definition of a hero. A hero. A hero. Somebody look up. And, okay, somebody you look up to because why? Something they've done. Something they Oh, we're getting somewhere now. Mm -hmm. Now, now, do, do you know, uh, what would you think of somebody that laid down their life? Like, and here's what I mean. They died so that you could live. In other words, if you were walking down this street and the Avenger gang was meeting and I saw a bus coming and didn't even know you. You didn't know me, and I ran, and I pushed you out of the way, and I got hit by the bus so that you would live. Would hero, I be your hero? Yes, sir. Oh, we're going to tell you about a real hero, hero now. You ain't heard nothing yet, brother. Let me let you know this. If you were the only person in the world that ever sinned, Jesus still would have died for you. Just for you. Just for me. And Just he did. Me. Wow. Because he loves you. As much as he loves any of the rest of them. Way back in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve sinned and it separated us from God. And they put sin in our hearts so that every day that we find ways to go against God's word. He gives us the Ten Commandments and said, this is how, this is what my righteousness is. This is what my law is. And we can't keep up with that. There's no way that we can follow those, the laws. The law doesn't make us righteous. The law just lets us know how much we need God. And Jesus came down to earth and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He gave himself for us. 
And he said, I will take on your sin onto me because I am the perfect sacrifice. And then when he died, he gave us access. He gave us permission to come back into heaven as long as we repent of our sins and accept Jesus Christ as Lord. What does that word repent mean? I tell you, repent means when you know you've messed up. You're like, you were talking about a while ago, you said something to your mom and you talk back to her. You know you messed up. This time you sinned against God. You know your needs. Confess your sins. Confess means you admit you did. Lord, I apologize. Wait till my table guy. Lord, I apologize. Forgive me for what I've done. Please cleanse me of my sin. That's confession. The confession brings redemption. That cleanses you from all your sins. It's, it's a simple thing to do. Anybody can do it, right, brother? Amen. Right, Amen. I, I can go. I gotta go to church. No, no, you, know, you can, you can right do it here. right here. If you feel God calling on your right heart, here. right, right here, you can give right yourself now. to Christ. Well, how do I do that? What do I gotta do? James, it's like this, dude. Do you want Jesus to be your hero? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He is your hero. All you gotta do is accept the fact that He is. Because right now, if you were to die right now, you know where you go? In the dirt. In the dirt first, your body, your carcass will go to dirt, but your soul is going to hell. That's what happens right now. And if you minutes choose to pray the prayer we're going to tell you about, once you die, the minute you die, you're in heaven with Jesus. The Bible says you sit on his right hand, you're walking the streets of gold. It's so let me let you not understand this. All I got to do is say some words, no. and I'm good. It's not just saying words. Oh, okay. you got to believe it in your heart. Exactly. Oh, okay. You know? And I understand if you got some questions, but I tell you what, if you want to make Jesus your hero, yes, sir. I'll do this. Why don't we go back to the clubhouse and we'll talk to you a little bit more? Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Man. And we got those tracks, those little books. Yeah, man. Make it easy, a lot easier than what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got here. Actually, I got a Bible right here. So I want, I want you to have this because. I know that you need it, and that, that is God's word, and that will tell you all that you need to know. And we can also, like I said, answer any questions. You mind hanging out with us for like a Yeah, week? man, we love hanging out with us. Turn it cool. Keep doing our game, man. Come on, yeah, we're doing our game. Come on, we're doing our game. We do have to cut that hair, man. Just bang that hair. Awesome. You're all right, man. Come on, James. Glad to have you, man. Glad to have you. Oh, man, that's good. Good to have you here. Well, what do you think about that time? Yay! Yeah. I think that's the thing that we need to do starting tomorrow. When we go to school, when we go to work, when we go to um, no school tomorrow. We did that. Okay. Yes, we did. Like me, I'm retired, so I don't go to work anymore, but you know what? I see people when I'm at Target, Walmart, Publix, and I come across people that I come in contact with, and they make a judgment about me one way or the other by the way that I act. And so I can either be a good influence for Jesus or a bad influence by what I do. And the first couple of times that our friends were trying to evangelize, what kind of personality did they have? How did they? Opposite of what you're supposed to have. And so I think we're all agreed that they finally got it right in this last time, offering to talk with James and help him to understand the fact that God does love you more than anything. Each and every one of us God loves. And the way that they're going to reach James is by doing it in a kind and friendly manner. And so what I want you to do is when you're sharing this coming week, you need to be kind and thoughtful and let people know just how much Jesus loves you and how much he loves them. Okay? I think Mr. Max, you got anything to say? They're already in the invitation upstairs, so we'll probably need to get our shoes on. But remember this week, what you need to do is share Jesus with everyone you come in contact with. Because that's what he...